Milwaukee Youth Orchestra's motto is instrumental in changing lives, but they don't do it alone. After the break, how community partnerships make the music happen. More about a special concert is coming up next, but first, here are two student alumni cellists. Take it away, guys. Milwaukee Youth Symphony Orchestra has really grown over the past 58 years. It's now the largest and most extensive youth orchestra program in America. That's right, get this. The group serves almost 1,000 young musicians from 60 cities and more than 200 schools. The MISO's motto is instrumental in changing lives. Yeah, today a live performance, a duet on the cello. We gave you a sneak peek just mm -hmm. a second ago, but first we're going to chat with the group's artistic director and progressions director. Welcome, Carter Simons. Simmons. That's right. I knew I was going to. It's Simmons <laughs> and Jenny Kozaros. I said your name right. You're yeah. Smarter. There we go. <laughs> Great to have you guys here. This is so much fun. And We're how, so excited to be um, here. I mean, this is something that we all can take such pride in, mm -hmm. I think, yes. here in the Milwaukee area, is that we have this incredible opportunity, uh, particularly for young musicians. That's right. We have, uh, you've already mentioned that we're teaching about a thousand students each year, and um, we are just really blessed to have grown that through our community partnership programs over the last 10 years, and this whole year is a huge celebration. And we're really celebrating that we are now uh, really reflecting uh, the wonderful community that Milwaukee is uh, through the great work of Jenny and all the rest of the teachers. So awesome. Yeah, and this community <laughs> partnership is the 10th anniversary, is that right? That's correct. Uh, 10 years ago, we really focused the whole organization on doing the, the work that we needed to be doing uh, to, um, to, to address needs in the community. So we started with about 22 kids back in uh, 2003 and now we're well over 300 and what's That's amazing. It is yeah. and and we're That's really phenomenal. happy about it and what's great is that we're retaining those kids all the way through all the other 15 different performing organizations in our in our in our program. One of the things I found with accomplished young musicians and we talked to a few yesterday is that so often when they're given this opportunity to kind of hone their craft and really learn their instrument and, and learn this love of music, so many of them go on to, to play as adults mm -hmm. or choose professions that involve music, whether it's music mm -hmm. teaching or being part of an orchestra someday. I mean, that's what an incredible gift for us to give our children. Absolutely. Well, even if they don't go on to become virtuosi musicians, there's so many beneficial aspects to learning a musical instrument. Uh, teamwork, focus, uh, Self-discipline, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Self-soothing, you know, yeah. gives you something to do. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're really proud of our yeah. little ones. Yeah. yeah, speaking of our little musicians, they're going to play again. Can you get a shot of them? Because I want to say something about them. Yeah, they're 11 years old. They are adorable. <laughs> and Wait, <laughs> watch them stand up and see how tall their, their instrument is compared to them. Could you guys stand yeah, for ahead. a second? You guys can stand. Uh, yes. <laughs> is it typical that kids this age are playing this well and having this much confidence with an instrument? And well, both of these both of these kids are uh, uh, alumni of the Progressions program, which okay. is a program that I direct, and um, these two have been playing for three years. 
Four years. That's four eight, years. Four years old. Yeah. And they're both 11. Yes, okay. 11 years old. But we, we start kids from absolute with, with no background whatsoever or any, any history with that. They meet for three days a week getting lessons, a master class, and orchestra. So it's pretty intense. It's an yeah. intense program. And what is unique is each student is nominated by their principal or their uh, teacher from school. And then uh, off of that program, we were able to um, create a steel band program mm -hmm. called Calypso and Soca, and then a complete jazz studies program as well. And uh, there are nine different facets of our community partnerships that we're celebrating on Friday. Uh, from uh, 5.30 to 8 o'clock down at the Youth Arts Center. So yes. we're inviting awesome. the whole community to come and celebrate with us. Well, here's the information for that so we can hear our little ones perform again. <laughs> it's the Community Partnership Program's 10th anniversary Friday from 5.30 to 8 at the Milwaukee Youth Arts Center. You can visit the uh, website myso.org to learn more about the programs there. And here they are again. It's Ricardo and Abigail playing the cello. so that you can check out this incredible performance that is happening this Friday, May 9th, from 5.30 until 8 p.m. at the Milwaukee Youth Art Center located on West Walnut Street, myso.org, if you'd like to find out more information about the Milwaukee Youth Symphony Orchestra. And a huge thank you to Abigail and Ricardo, who were awesome, and Wonderful. to you, too. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. 